Aquaba, and welcome to Expat Life Ghana. I'm Ayo, and this is Tony, and we're documenting our move from Texas to Ghana as we go beyond the return. In this video, we are climbing rocks and feeding the wildlife in the Shy Hills Reserve just outside Accra. Woohoo! Uh, join us as we explore Shy Hills. Let's get this video started. You had a tour group going to Shy Hills recently, and the boys and I decided to join in on the fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I love going to Shy Hills. It's about 60 kilometers east of Accra, making it an easy drive. But it's far enough away to make you feel like you've escaped the city. We've driven by Shy Hills several times on our way to other places, in like the Volta area or the eastern region, but we've never actually done a tour. Right, I have. And I love it out there. It's really peaceful and clean, serene. Mm. It's the perfect day trip. I love taking our uh, groups out there and they really enjoy themselves. If you are planning a trip to Ghana, you should really consider hiking at Shy Hills. Shy Hills is a resource reserve that measures 51 square kilometers. It's expansive. It is really, really big. There are plenty of animals to see in the reserve, most notably baboons, green monkeys, antelope, and tons of reptiles. I don't actually think I want to see any of the reptiles, mm -hmm. though. <laughs> it's actually a bird watcher's dream. There are nearly 175 species of birds in the reserve. It's really kind of crazy because as we were standing right on the prairie part, mm -hmm. when you're listening, you could hear just so many all different birds. Oh, so many. They're just going crazy. Yeah, I wish I knew what they were, but <laughs> I don't. <laughs> when you take a tour, you can visit the animals kept by the park service, and that includes ostrich and zebra. Zebras. And the only thing to note during the rainy season is some of the roads get washed out and muddy. You were worried about that before we were going on this tour, that the back road was going to be washed out. Right, right. But, uh... Worked out okay. Did fine. Being at the top of Shy Hills gives you some pretty awesome views. We had some people in the group who were a little, a little nervous about standing on top of the Mogo Hill rocks. Mm -hmm. But I thought that was the coolest part. The views were amazing. You do have the option of going to visit the museum at Shy Hills or doing the hike up into the caves. The boys would have loved to have been all up in the caves. Right, we've done that before and it's a great experience. Did notice was they have options for camping. Yeah, you can pitch a tent on Shy Hill grounds and Not I would suggest me. you have fun. <laughs> Not for me. Not for no, me. No. <laughs> but I thought it was interesting that you had that as an option. Shy Hills is a great day trip for anyone visiting Ghana. You'll get some great views, 
some fun hiking, and get to see some animals too. I loved going on this day trip. So thanks to your guests who let us tag along. They were the coolest. <laughs> if this is a day trip you'd like to take, check it out on our website at expatlifebounded.com. If you love this and want an entire experience with Expat Life, then consider booking a five, seven, 10, or 14 day tour with us. We'd love to host you and show you all the best spots in Ghana. And if you're planning your return, join us on our closed Facebook group so you can connect with folks just like you. And check out all that Expat Life has to offer at expatlifeghana.com, including airport pickups, departures, more day trips to see the country, plus we now offer accommodations at our b and And don't forget to subscribe. That way you can join us for our monthly lives here on YouTube the last Friday of every month. It's coming up soon. Oh, <laughs> that it is. And with that, Charlie out for now. I wasn't listening to you, just waiting for my <laughs> cue. <laughs> so I'm like, I have, wait, that doesn't sound right. Okay, well, so.